Did you ever see this video, Jackson? Uh, it's I guess it's from a documentary called Birth of a Nation, Israel, 1940. The film Tantura. Have you heard of I this? I saw that clip. So these are, this is supposedly Israeli soldiers who did what they call the Nakba, right? Which is when they went in and they told all the Palestinians to leave. And so if they left, they would let them leave peacefully. But if they didn't leave, then they went in and killed them. And well, I, that's what happened. I thought that they said, hey, we want to live together. And the Palestinians said, no, we don't want to live near Jews and la ran away because they thought the Arabs <laughs> would drive the Jews. I swear to God, this is That's what I'm you told. thought? That's what I was. Uh, that's what I thought. That's what I've been told. What you said is the very different from that. So I've always been told that. So here's Melissa. Well, watch this video. It's this is going to be unbelievably depressing. But watch this. In the war of independence, that's what they call it. We knew one simple thing. What was the one simple thing? It's either me or them. So turn it down a little. We don't have to hear his. He said it's either me or them. A state is seized by the sword. That's what my father told me. You take a country by force. Of course we killed them. We killed them without remorse. Very Buddhist. If you killed, you did a good thing. I was willing to kill, and I didn't talk to anybody about it. What about your wife? I assume you lived with her for many years. You didn't talk about it? I never told her. What would I tell her, that I was a murderer? And then he laughs. Yeah, well, that would be crazy to say that. And then he laughs. He's laughing. And that's why those women were screaming at Jackson so much, because they didn't know. <laughs> Undoubtedly, it was a combination of all kinds of things. Of vengeance and cruelty and people who came from some people came from the death camps. The question is, what happened there? And that people were in such a trance that they, based on several testimonies, they released their anger on everyone they saw. He took a step back. He took out a gun and bang, bang, bang. He killed them all, says this guy. They removed them from their pajamas from their homes in their pajamas. They took them like cows in front of them and they killed them. During the battle, if someone raised their hands, I didn't take captives. How many people do you think you killed this way? They asked this guy. Uh, I didn't count. And he laughs. I can't really know. He grabbed, this guy, listen to this. He grabbed a woman, young and good looking, went into a house, prepared a bedroom, and wanted to F her. The girl came back half dead like a rag. One guy raped the, a 16-year-old girl or something of the sort, this guy says. They're all kind of laughing and smiling as they say this, This too. is like the, the, uh, the act of killing about Indonesia. Do you remember that documentary? No. Indonesia had like a crazy like massacre. In like the whatever Henry Kissinger helped with, but they are all He's talking like this. But th th but they're all giggling. He's giggling this about them like raping the a sixteen-year-old. If you watch, and that's what they, that's yeah. what I was told Hamas did, and why I'm supposed to hate them. But apparently, their country was founded on this, and they're all giggling about it. So watch. You understand? But this is very ugly. Oh, really? As you laugh, there was one guy. He passed away. He was a savage. He says he just took them and murdered them in this enclosure, you know, surrounded by barbed wire. All the men were rounded up. They were all sitting on the ground. And someone comes and takes a machine gun and starts and then reloads the cartridge. What do you think? And some guys took flamethrowers and ran after people and incinerated them. He's smiling. He's smiling and laughing. It was horrifying. It, it's forbidden to tell. I'm not going to talk about what? it because, well, you are talking about it. He goes, listen, war is war. That's how they all just to justify all this. Not everyone can know what war is. Did we have a Nuremberg trial about this? What is and isn't war? That doesn't sound like war to me. War is when you're actually fighting against another soldier. This sounds like you're just slaughtering civilians. <laughs> And I say, whoever wasn't there can't judge anyone else. I'm pretty sure we can. Well, I mean, just not in a court of law, obviously. That will never happen. <laughs> he said, in a war of independence, we knew one simple thing. Oh, this is the beginning again. Oh, is that it? It's either, the, oh, that's the beginning again. So, Jackson, you saw this before? Isn't this, 
I mean, even for me, when I saw this, I was stunned to yeah. hear. Yeah. I've heard yeah. story. Ari Shafir told me that one of his grand uncles or something like that told him stuff like this. Really? Yeah. But you have to understand the people that hear these stories think that what I said, that thing I said of the Arabs, like, no, we'll never live with Jews. So they all think it was under the umbrella of the Arabs would never let Jews just live there. And so. And so they, they had to fly, wipe them out. Yeah. So they had to wipe them. And it was, he didn't tell me all this rape stuff. He told me they didn't take prisoners. Like, we can't let them go because they'll come back and kill us. And, you know, and uh, oh, that's what you have to do in war. The things they're saying, though, it kind of reminds me of Bill Cosby trying to be like, hey, a lot of people were taking, getting drugged up and having sex. You know, I was just doing whatever. It sounds like you took it a little bit further, pal. Like a lot further. Yeah. Don't you guys think it's crazy how now uh, Netanyahu and all these, you know, Zionists in the West, they say, well, um, you know, if Hamas was just wiped off the face of the earth, then we could live in peace in Israel. Yes, and you have like, to well, make a new Hamas, one. Hamas was, and they 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 were established in 1987. So, what about all this stuff that happened before? You guys weren't living in peace with them back then, before 1987. It's all it's all bogus. I mean, that is, uh, if you can watch that and still support Zionism. Uh, you're a special kind of evil. People don't know what Zionism is. Do you understand that? They do not know. They think it's the same as supporting Judaism. Yeah, people, it's not. If you just say, look, I understand, but I, I'm telling you, people go, oh, he doesn't like Jews. Like, people, gen like, those two idiots that Jackson talked to, that they're probably kind of, like, educated for, compared to a lot of people you're going to encounter. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they don't know. Uh, Zionism just means Jews should be safe in a country where they're safe. They don't know any of this. I mean, none of, and again, it's stuff I'm learning because Jews said it to me, not Arabs. Yeah. If you're anti-Semitic, you are racist against Semites. If you're anti-Zionist, you just don't, you don't believe in Zionism. And there's, Arabs there's are Semites. Nothing, That's the craziest part. Arabs are Semites. Yeah. Arab Palestinians are Semites. There's plenty of Semites that are not Zionists. There's plenty of Jews. Today in New York, they had a rally of 60,000 Orthodox Jews against Zionism. Yeah, right. Because that's the, it's it's blasphemous to the religion. But that you know that's why that stupid term Islamophobia, which by the way is an idiotic term, attempting to turn a religion into a race. And I watch all these people that were like, you know, the the lifestyle lefties, like, no, it's, people understand. Ra I understand what it is now. Anti-Semitism that has apartheid in it, so they had to invent their own word, like a two-state solution, to be able to have access to a kind of word that means anti-Semitism. We're doing live comedy shows in Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Boston. Plus, we're going to put a date in Edmonton, Canada, plus Vancouver. See ya. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.